Receivers. I think that we're all privy to what creative inspiration or divine madness or that kind of connection with something larger than ourselves when it makes us feel like we understand the intelligence that runs throughout the universe that somehow has led to self-organizing molecules that turn into self-aware creatures that then start to ponder their own origins. I think we've all been privy to a sensation that we are connected to something bigger and grander than we are, or that maybe perhaps we are a part of it. If we are a way for the cosmos to know itself, then the cosmos is speaking through us, you know? So I do think that 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 that, that we're all receivers in a way. I mean, we're all, we can all tap into that. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting to borrow Khalil Gibran's words. Uh, sometimes it feels as though ideas or feelings or thoughts or revelation comes through you, but not from you, and the way it is with you belongs not to you. Terence McKenna talks about psychedelic plants and how they excite vocalization and they empower articulation, um, which is just absolutely what it feels like when you're having a meta download. I mean, there's a reason people use that metaphor. Oh my God, man, I'm having a download. Revelatory ecstasy. The ecstasy that comes with feeling a sense of revelation where you're putting the dots together in a way that you hadn't put them before. And it gives you a new aerial view, a new pattern that subsumes the previous paradigm. And, and whatever that is, you know, um, hypomania, inspiration, divine interconnection. It makes us all, to an extent, receivers of insight, of knowledge, of intelligence. <laughs>